you, Adrian. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Arul Kumar Abe. I'm VP of Engineering at Grab. Grab's mission is to drive Southeast Asia forward. Today, I would like to share with you how AWS is helping us with our mission. Grab was started in 2012 by our founders, Anthony Tan and Huiling Tan, while they were in Harvard Business School. Both are from Malaysia. They started Grab, known as My Taxi then, with a simple idea to make taxi rides safe and easy to use in, for the people. We've come a long way since our humble beginnings. Today, we offer the most comprehensive suite of transport services in Southeast Asia, including taxis, cars, and bikes. We have services that cater to every transport need, preferences, and price points of our customers. The number tells the story. We're currently in 40 cities in seven countries, with the largest land fleet of 780,000 drivers in the region. Our app is installed in 38 million devices. We are no longer just a taxi app. We are much more than that. We have built a market-leading transportation platform. So whether you need a car, limo, or a bike, whether you want to pay with cash or credit, you just have to go to one place. Our journey doesn't stop here. We continue to outserve our customers by launching new products and services, such as social sharing, which is our Grab Hitch, parcel delivery, Grab Express, and Grab Food. We are able to build the best and most widely used app because of our talented pool of developers spread across our six development centers. Our largest here is in Singapore. We also have centers in Bangalore, Beijing, Ho Chi Minh City, Jakarta, and Seattle. Our engineers love that they are making an impact on the lives of Southeast Asia. A lot of this has been made possible thanks to our work with AWS. Graph started using Amazon Web Services since its inception in 2012. Our initial application was built using Ruby on Rails, which we ran on Amazon EC2. We used Amazon RDS MySQL for our storage. Of course, we use VPC and other networking infrastructure for running our application. We have since evolved our ap ap architecture from a single monolithic application to a microservices-based architecture. We have grown quickly over the years and our usage of AWS has increased tremendously. We use a number of AWS services, it will take me time to go through each one of them, but it's there, that helps Grab team save time and resources up to 40%. There are so many services that we use today and you might be wondering why. Each of, this use, each of these services has its own use cases. Let me give a concrete example of how we use AWS. AWS has enabled us to build strong capabilities to review real-time data. We use this capability to make matching drivers to passengers efficiently. For example, we proactively push information telling drivers where the demand is high during certain time of the day. What you're seeing is a demand heat map created on a Monday morning for Singapore at around 8.45 a.m. This is the time that most people leave for work. As you can see, the red dot here in this map represents where the demand is high. As you can see, the demand is high in the central part of Singapore. For those who are familiar with Singapore, you will know that's where most of the housing real estates are. You might we monitor, this, we monitor the changing customer demand in real time and send drivers notification to go to areas with higher booking demand. For example, there's another heat map on a Friday evening after work. We can clearly see the difference between Friday night and Monday morning. Friday night, hotspots are in the central business district. Monday morning, when people go to work, high demand is mostly in the residential areas. This seems obvious, but demand is not always where you expect it to be. We have to track in real time so that we can respond quickly when there are unforeseen circumstances like weather and public transport breakdowns. So, What this means is our drivers get to get, get increased revenue or they can reduce the number of hours they're driving. For consumers, this means they can book the fastest ride without having to stand at the side of the road to try to hail a taxi. By using big data, we have been able to increase the allocation rate, which is 
the matching of drivers to passengers by up to 30%. Beyond using data for, to make grab bookings more efficient, we want to solve bigger problems of traffic congestion and also help with urban planning. What do we do with the hundreds of millions of GPS data points that we get through our driver fleet? Here's a screenshot of the Open Traffic Platform, a collaboration between Grab and World Bank. In this image, the red means the traffic moves less than 10 kilometers per hour, while the dark blue means traffic moves more than 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. Per hour. This particular screenshot is taken on a peak cover on Tuesday in Singapore CBD. It's easy to see which roads are smooth flowing and which roads to avoid. City governments have free access to open traffic. They can get real-time traffic condition in the city at one glance. Open traffic helps governments save cost and manpower on manual monitoring and focus on issues that matter. They can identify roads to help manage traffic, decide areas that need more infrastructure, and identify roads with high accident rates. AWS has enabled us to manage this multi-petabyte flow of data and leverage it to improve our customer experience. We have been using AWS since our inception, and there are many benefits to using AWS, but I want to pick the three that I would like to call out here. The first one is lean operations team. We have less than 10 engineers working full-time maintaining all the services mentioned before. As a startup, the speed of innovation and growth is key. AWS has al allowed us to focus on our users and customers and not spend time on infrastructure. That's where, a where AWS Enterprise Support came in. Even though our user count grew multiple fold, we didn't have to increase our headcount. The second benefit is awesome scalability. We started small, but we have grown tremendously over the last four years. Our usage of AWS has increased 200x in the last four years. It was never an artificial limitation to scale up our business. With a couple of button touches, our infrastructure grew with us. Continuous innovation. We have been using AWS for our analytics platform. Our analytics platform has evolved over the years. It has gone through several iterations. We started with MySQL. Later on, we moved to Redshift. Now our analytics platform runs on uh, Data Lake, on S3, with EMR, and Presto. All of these iterations was done in AWS without any need for us to look for another platform. Now we look forward to using Athena as well. This is something that we have been waiting for. Looks like it's coming to Singapore soon, so we'll be using that as well. Using AWS has enabled Grab's engineering team to focus on customers, innovating on new ideas, iterating on new features, and rolling them out quickly in the hands of customers. This has given Grab a competitive advantage in transforming the customer's experience. Southeast Asia is growing at a tremendous pace. We have an unprecedented opportunity to build a platform that caters to the mobile-first environment and infrastructure needs. We are working on two main areas, making the way we travel easier. We are building a multimodal transport system that offers the most affordable and convenient option across the mobility spectrum, making the way we pay easier, a payments platform that is the most affordable and convenient way to pay for services. Momentous challenges, but with AWS on our side, that's a singular focus. We, are, we believe we are only scratching the surface of what's possible with Grab. Grab is Southeast Asia's largest homegrown technology company, and we want to continue growing and better services to our customers. We are number one transport app in the region, but more importantly, how does tomorrow look like? Grab is part of the first wave of technology startups from Southeast Asia for Southeast Asia, and we belong to the first group focused on building the tech ecosystem and using innovation to improve people's life. We expect more startups to be created and built in Southeast Asia. AWS platform makes barrier to entry low for startups and to scale when the business scales. We believe to our very core that when we are in this journey together to build Southeast Asia's Baidu, Alibaba, or Tencent. If China and can, India can do it, why can't we? I look forward to hearing success story of aspiring entrepreneurs among you in a future forum like this. Good luck and thank you. Thank you very much.